Welcome to this new video on top two reasons why your kids need to be vaccinated with COVID-19. Dr. Mel, welcome to my YouTube channel, Health.Faith.Fullness. If you are new in this channel, I encourage you to subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and click the bell icon. I received many messages among parents inquiring if their 5 to 11 year old children can receive the COVID vaccine. As parents, I know you want the best for your children and it's understandable that you have many concerns about this new vaccine, especially that the government has been preparing for the COVID vaccine rollout in this age group within the next few days or weeks. It used to be that children were protected from illness and death from COVID-19 infection, showing only mild symptoms. The reason given was that children's immune system are able to mount a stronger response to the virus, neutralizing the threat much more quickly. But nowadays, I know you know that more and more children are diagnosed to have COVID-19 infection. This was attributed to mutations that change the way the virus enters the cell. The Delta variant seemed to have affected children as much as adults. Now with the Omicron variant, there is a sudden spike again of COVID-19 cases among children. Also, as more adults and teenagers already received the two primary and booster doses, it is not surprising that children make up a greater proportion of those affected at present. This is the number one reason why your child within the 5 to 11 age group should be vaccinated as soon as possible. Studies done abroad last year showed that children in Brazil and four other Latin American countries had more severe forms of COVID-19 and more of the cases of the Multisystem Inflammatory Syndrome in Children or MISC. What happens in MISC? This is an extreme condition in which the important organs of a child's body like the heart, lungs, brain and kidneys become severely inflamed. Here in our country, around 3% of cases and 0.5% of deaths due to COVID are among children 5 to 11 years old. This is a trend similar to what is seen in Brazil, Latin America as I mentioned earlier, and other countries around the world. Children may also be at risk of developing the so-called long COVID post-acute COVID syndrome. In long COVID syndrome, there are studies that show that the symptoms of COVID are prolonged even up to 56 days. Hoo hoo hoo! Imagine your child being sick for almost two months because of COVID? Symptoms of long COVID syndrome are chronic tiredness or fatigue, headache, trouble sleeping, trouble concentrating, muscle and joint pain, and cough. And if your child suffers from this, then surely it could affect his school attendance or performance and his other usual activities. So, don't let your child catch COVID, prevent it with vaccination when available. And if your child is known to have underlying chronic morbidities like neurodevelopmental disorders, heart disease, diabetes, chronic lung disease, obesity, kidney diseases, and if your child is immunocompromised, then the more they would need the vaccine because they are at increased risk for severe COVID-19 disease that will increase the risk of being admitted to the intensive care unit. The number two reason why your child needs to be vaccinated is all about safety. Are you worried about the safety of the COVID-19 vaccine to your child? Will my child be able to tolerate the vaccine and its side effects? Will this vaccine affect the heart of my child? Is this vaccine developed too quickly for kids? 
These are usually the common questions that most parents ask me. According to Pfizer, the vaccine is safe. It is given at 10 microgram, 2 doses every 21 days. It has a lower concentration, lower dose, and just about one-third of the usual teenage and adult dose. As to side effects, according to Pfizer, only 2% of the recipients develop mild symptoms such as fever and vomiting. For the myocarditis, which is a rare occurrence of heart inflammation, the symptom is usually mild, treated with ibuprofen, and resolved within few days. But, be more concerned with the more common and more severe myocarditis that is associated with COVID-19 infection. Getting vaccinated definitely protects your child from COVID-associated myocarditis. Was the vaccine quickly made for my child? No, it's not. The making of coronavirus vaccine has already started few years ago. There are two other aggressive coronaviruses that precede this COVID-19. Do you remember the source cov 2002? In the Middle East, Respiratory Syndrome or mers cov first reported in Saudi Arabia, these two coronaviruses caused outbreak and greatly affected our overseas Filipino workers. Because of these outbreaks, corona vaccine research was already well underway before COVID-19 hit. And because COVID-19 caused a global pandemic, it was an emergency situation so that the manufacturers were able to move faster than usual. The timely and speedy development of the vaccine should not be the reason not to trust this vaccine because they underwent a thorough and extensive reviews and safety monitoring. And according to the latest Philippine safety data, the recipients of the COVID-19 vaccine among 12 to 17 years old, only a few had mild symptoms like dizziness, pain at injection site, headache, and elevated BP. There were only two reported cases of myocarditis and one case of pericarditis, all of them resolved. So the vaccine was shown to be safe, and if ever your child develops fever and headache, then you can always give paracetamol. The European Center for Disease Prevention and Control revealed the following benefits. Vaccinating your children 5 to 11 years old reduced SARS-CoV-2 transmission in the whole population. Number two, it reduces the likelihood of school absence or closure so your child could go back to school face to face. Number three, reduce interference to social activities so you can bring out your child to the mall. And number four, Reduce the stress on family. Those families affected by COVID-19 and its associated disruptions like work of the parents when their child suffers from COVID infection. Number three reason why your child need to be vaccinated. The vaccine is recommended by experts. After thorough evaluation of the data submitted, our society, the Philippine Pediatric Society, and the Pediatric Infectious Disease Society of the Philippines recommend the vaccination of children against COVID-19 using a fully approved vaccine. Some parents had been waiting all this time to protect their child from COVID-19. Take advantage of it now that we finally have the chance. I hope this video will help you weigh your decision to bring your child to the nearest vaccination center. I encourage you to comment down below if you still have other concerns. Thank you. Have a good day.